A wise man named Homer Simpson once said, to alcohol, the cause of, and the solution to, all of life's problems. Welcome to another episode of Nurse Reviews, Cells at Work, Code Black. We're here looking at episode number two, the liver, alcohol, and pride. So we already kind of know what we're getting into. <laughs> um, yeah, so pour myself a glass of wine to celebrate. Uh, no, I'm not driving anywhere after this because <laughs> I am playing it safe. Uh, and without further ado, let's dive right in.口の中や舌に起きる炎症、変形の境界がはっきりした浅い海洋はアフタと呼ばれる。so if you've ever had a mouth ulcer, you will know that they are incredibly painful. Uh, I used to get quite a lot of them as a kid. I don't really know why. It's not like I had bad oral hygiene. Um, but I remember my mom taking me to the doctor about it and he really had no idea why. Um, I think for me primarily, I have a tendency to bite the inside of my cheek. Uh, or my lip, and that damage can ultimately cause an ulcer. And yeah, they're super painful. I hate them a ton. Also, um, if you notice in the background, you can see all these sort of um, polygonal shapes with like a spot in the middle. I remember in high school in biology class, we did actually get to do um, buccal or cheek swabs. And then we took those cells, put them on like a little plate, put them under a microscope and got to look at them. And if I remember correctly, uh, the cells looked very much like those, which is pretty cool. <laughs> to be completely honest, I don't know if this is a Japan thing because like I said, I'm very used to having ulcers. I also used to work with oncology patients uh, who are very prone to mouth ulcers because of the chemotherapy that they take. And I don't think I've ever had them swish and swallow iodine solution or providine. Uh, what we would typically do is get them to do a mouth rinse with just baking soda water. Um, another thing that we can do, actually, there is another mouthwash that we can use. I think it's like chlorhexidine mouthwash, which would act very similar. But yeah, I don't think I've ever had anybody swish and swallow I or swish or gargle with iodine. Take a mega nick. You know what though? Why are all the white blood cells in this series just the hottest waifus? Like damn. Kanzo, Bushitsuno Goseya, Haiset, Gedoknado, Tasaina Kino Itonamu Zoki. So the liver is actually responsible for a ton of different things. I remember trying to learn about it in nursing school and really struggling trying to remember all of it for my final exam. So among the things that the liver is responsible for is detoxification of the blood system. So for example, it does detoxify the blood from alcohol, as we will see in this episode. Um, it's also responsible for detoxifying a lot of drugs, including Tylenol or acetaminophen or paracetamol, I think it's called in other places of the world. Uh, it's also responsible for the coagulation cascade, uh, so ensuring that there's enough clotting factors in the blood. Uh, it is responsible for a lot of synthesis of various things such as carbohydrates, fats, proteins, things like that. Uh, you can actually see on the side there the amino acids, uh, and the amino acids are actually synthesized by the liver as well. Uh, it also holds quite a lot of blood volume. It does store blood, and speaking of blood, it is also responsible for breaking down dead red blood cells and breaking it down into heme and globin, and then further breaking it down to further different products. 
You can see on the side here as well on just a little bit to the left and up of the center, it actually says vitamins and mineral activation, which is another thing that the liver does as well. It does store certain vitamins and minerals for use in the body. The other thing it does lastly is it helps produce bile in order to help digest your food. I think I got everything. I hope I did. If I missed something, please let me know. <laughs> Well, <laughs> this just went right up to like PG-13 at a minimum. ADH. So, alcohol is synthesized by alcohol. ADH. Alright, I gotta look up ADH. <laughs> uh... Okay, so alcohol dehydrogenases are a group of dehydrogenase enzymes that occur in many organisms and facilitate the interconversion between alcohols and aldehydes or ketones with the reduction of nicotinamide adenine dinucleotide to NADH. Alright, cool. Daishoubu. <laughs> So now that I look at it, you can see that her bun at the back of her head actually looks like a hepatocyte. So in the middle, you have a central vein and then you have the hepatocyte lobule uh, kind of going out radially from it. And then it has all these vessels and ducts and stuff kind of around it. その状態が慢性的に続くと肝細胞を破壊し肝硬変を起こす。辛いのは私たちだけじゃない。赤血球さんたちは命の危険を犯して必死に働いてくれてる。あの人たちがいる間は弱い自分は見せたくないの。so yeah, what they're talking about here is ultimately cirrhosis. So you might have heard that liver cells are able to regenerate, and they are to an extent. However, exposed to chronic toxins like alcohol, eventually those cells just sort of start to get all fibrous and unable to work properly, and the liver just won't be able to keep up and will eventually fail. <laughs> Oh no. This is so sad. Uh, so actually though, your average red blood cells lifespan is only 120 days. So this actually happens a lot. Still, this is incredibly sad. Oh my God. クッパー細胞。ルイド内に存在するマクロファージの一種。異物を鈍食し活性化する。古くなった赤血球も鈍食し、ヘモグロビンから単重色素を作る。これが赤血球の一生だ。死ぬまで酸素を運んで、その後も養分として利用されちまう。けどさ、悪い死に方じゃないんじゃねえかな。じいさん、満足そうな顔してたぜ。So this is like I said, one of the many functions of the liver. Um red blood cells do eventually die and are generally broken down by macrophages either in the liver or the spleen. So in the liver, the macrophages, like they said, are called Kupfer cells. And 
eventually they will be broken down into all their different components. So the hemoglobin is broken down to heme and globin, and then those are further processed and processed and processed, uh, and either reprocessed into new materials for the body to reuse, and anything else will be excreted usually through the urine or the feces. え、アルコール。おいおい、また<笑> I'm not really sure what hair of the dog is. I'm assuming it's some sort of remedy that they use in Japan. Uh, but to be honest, I have never gotten hung over in Japan, so I don't actually know what they're talking about. So that concludes episode two, liver, alcohol, and pride. So the thing about alcohol is that it is a depressant. A lot of people will use it to sort of numb pain and you can kind of see that a little bit here where our poor red blood cell is just suffering and suffering and suffering even has a little bit of ptsd watching all of his friends and senpais uh die and he will probably keep being exposed to all these repeated traumas and you know what it's the same with people where people will just be exposed to traumas or you know not be able to manage negative emotions so they turn to alcohol to to numb those emotions. Unfortunately, with repeated drinking, especially excessive drinking, you end up building a tolerance to alcohol. Your body ends up uh, compensating for the depressive effects of it and you need more and more and more alcohol to get that same drunk or buzz effect with that you would get with just a small amount when you first started out. The dangerous thing is once you build up a certain alcohol tolerance, you end up requiring about the same amount of alcohol or a certain baseline amount of alcohol in order to function normally. If you suddenly stop and go cold turkey, this is actually potentially deadly. You end up going into alcohol withdrawals, into a condition that we call the delirium tremens or the DTs, and you need medical intervention. So treating alcoholism is actually a very complex process because you need to address both the physical effects of alcohol withdrawal as well as the mental effects of somebody who has probably been suffering for a very long time. So very complex, we don't like it, don't drink, or if you do choose to drink, do so in moderation. I haven't even finished my drink yet. Uh, so yeah, and I guess the next episode we will be looking at has to do with STDs. <laughs> That's going to be rated NC-17, I imagine. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I shall see you all again next time. Bye!